Prince Harry could meet King Charles alone this summer after royal family's Balmoral snub. Mid-August has been penciled in for the main arrivals while some members of the family could join a shooting event on August 12, said the source. The Sussexes will not be part of that meeting but Harry may join the King at a later date when the Queen and the rest of the royal family have left. However, it's highly unlikely given the current tensions. Since their departure from the royal family in 2020, dubbed Megxit, Harry and Meghan have made very few trips back to the UK, bringing their children over only once for the Platinum Jubilee. Meghan, 42, has not been seen in the UK, other than for a stopover at Heathrow Airport en route to Kenya in May, since Queen Elizabeth's state funeral in September 2022, having chosen to skip the coronation in May 2023. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. While Harry appears willing to reconcile with his family, especially in light of the news that King Charles and Princess Kate are battling cancer, Meghan is said to harbour deeper reservations. Prince Harry made a brief visit to London for a private meeting with King Charles in February after learning of his father's cancer diagnosis. Their quick 30-minute encounter at Clarence House ignited hopes of more family time this year but it wasn't to be. Harry arrived in London for the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games in May and despite being only a stone's throw from his father at Buckingham Palace, there was no meeting scheduled. Prince Harry revealed in the ITV documentary Tabloids on Trial on Thursday night that the behaviour of the British tabloids and security concerns are the reasons why Meghan Markle won't return to the UK. Speaking to Rebecca Barry, Harry raised concerns that a lone attacker could target his family, including his wife and their two children, if they were to return to the UK. Explaining his belief that certain narratives in the press pose a genuine threat to his family, Harry said, all it takes is for one lone actor who reads this stuff to act on what they've read. And whether it's a knife or acid, these are things that are genuine concerns for me. It's one of the reasons why I won't bring my wife back to this country. Prince Harry and the royal family are facing a catch-22 situation ahead of his hotly anticipated return to the UK, royal experts have claimed. The controversial royal is set to make a solo trip to his homeland in September, where he is believed to want to build bridges with his estranged family. But a right royal podcast by Hello! was looking even further ahead to the 2027 Invictus Games, where both of the cities bidding to host the event could have posed a problem for founder Prince Harry. Eventually Birmingham won the rights to host them, returning the Games to the UK for the first time since the inaugural event was hosted in London in 2014. Podcast co-host Emily Nash explained why Harry was in a difficult position, Washington DC was up against Birmingham, to host the 2027 Games and it was always going to be an interesting choice. On the one hand it meant coming back to the UK, fantastic for veterans here and for the country. But the question mark was how does that leave the royals in relation to it? Naturally, the king's head of the armed forces. You'd hope he'd want to support it. There's this difficult situation the family finds itself in with Harry. On the other hand, had it gone to Washington DC, and we were in a Trump presidency that would also have been tricky for Prince Harry. They famously don't get on very well with each other. The big question mark is will there be any royal involvement? Podcast co-host Emmy Griffiths added, for me it's what the media will be saying. If no royals lend their support to it, will that take over the whole narrative? The late Queen's former press secretary Ailsa Anderson chimed in and said, if another member of the royal family turns up, it's not going to be about the Invictus Games. It's going to be about the body language with Harry and whoever it is, there's going to be speculation, and then it's not about the injured servicemen and women. Emily described it as a catch-22 situation, adding, we've seen that anything can happen in a short space of time, in the last six months we've seen that play out.